Damn. You guys see that? <laughs> Those gas prices are no joke right now. Holy crap. I pour the middle one. I think it's 89 or 90. Not 91. I don't pour the premium. I ain't that premium. <laughs> but Jesus. Six bucks a gallon. Oh man, it's getting bad out here, guys. <laughs> well, it is what it is. We need it. And I need it. You all need it. We all need gas. We need to get to work. We need to get to someplace. And without gas, can't do anything about it. <laughs> all right, off to uh, spot number one. Good morning, good day. I'm at San Diego Bay. <laughs> what up, motorcycles? Welcome back to another video. Bears G here, checking in from San Diego Bay, Harbor Island. As you guys can see in the intro, I went to get gas this morning. Filled up my tank. Nine gallons, $51. That's a lot of money for a little bit of gas, but hey, it is what it is. We need it, everyone needs it, so. It's a necessity, so I can't really complain about it, but it is what it is, like I said. I mean, it's gonna keep going up. I know you're all suffering. Gas is expensive, everything is going up. <sighs> yeah, well, I'm out here, San Diego Bay. Friday morning. Again, you guys can see the skyline right behind me. I don't know if you guys watched the last video, but man, that tide was terrible. I mean, it was bad. So today's tide is actually pretty decent. I checked it last night, so it kind of encouraged me to get out. I'll put a picture of it up uh, right here to my left or right. I'll be fishing the outgoing tide. The low peak is about uh, noon. So 11.58 a.m. is going to go all the way down to 0.5 feet. So hopefully the fish is biting. I can see there's already two people here fishing. They're hooking up on macros left and right. So I need to you know hurry this up, get my ass out there, and get my lines wet, and hopefully catch the macro because Mama's been asking for a whole batch, and that's why I'm here. So, we will see. But first things first, thank you so much for tuning in, wherever you guys are watching from, on the toilet, in the bathroom, wherever, dinner table, lunch break, at work. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, guys, you guys are the true MVPs. And uh, how are you guys doing? How are you guys holding up? Have you guys been fishing? Have you guys been catching, chilling, or whatever? Comment below. If you guys like these bay videos, be sure to drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you already have not. Hit the bell notification button if you enjoy bay videos, gif videos, and whatever, anything, or yeah, whatever. So yeah, enough of that. I'm going to slap you guys on my chest, get all rigged up, get my lines wet, and hopefully catch some macro. So you guys stay tuned and enjoy the show. Let's go. You guys already know. Macro's biting. I'm gonna be throwing the finesse combo. It's just so much more fun getting them on light gear. All right, let's get to it. Oh, it's gotta get that line wet. Water has been extremely clear lately. See if they're out here. There it is. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> Get another one. I was just popping it sporadically because I started off working at the bottom. I got one hit, but uh, this time I'm just working middle water column. Hopefully, get something to stick again. Definitely tons of being the water about 30 yards out. I bump it up to like a 20 gram, maybe even 30. I'm gonna bomb it way out there. I'm gonna go full on pink. See what happens. Full on Jigpara standard pink 20 gram. Should get bit. At least I get more distance. I guess I was throwing a 10 gram earlier. So this is double that. Put him out of his misery. Yeah, so what I do is I get the these cutters are here, these dikes. Get it right behind the head and I just snip the membrane. So it seems like they like the way I was working to be earlier. So what I was doing is getting it way out there. Give it about, you know, five second count. Start reeling it in, just start popping it like that. Sometimes I hit it right on the pop or just right on the pause. It's very random right now. They're not as active as they were right when I got here. Cause right when I got here, they were killing it. Two, uh, two anglers to my left. Thought I recognized one of them, but I was wrong. So yeah, I was just ripping it through. That's how I got my first one with the pink. I feel like I hung up on myself though. Sometimes popping it too hard and not keeping the line tight, you'll tangle up on yourself. It's bound to happen. Guaranteed I'm hung up. Yep. I may have missed the hot macro bite by about 30 minutes. Never mind. Ah, it came off. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Came back for it. Way out there.
so much fun. They're like good eating size and bait size too. You can like get them right behind the neck, the head. And just like that, quick and fast. You guys never catch mackerel before. Try it, especially on light gear, trout gear, light bass gear. It's extremely fun. There it is, there's another one. I felt something. My line went slack for a second. Must have hit it and went towards me. So all it took was up my bait, pull up the size and just bomb it a little further. Even bleeding them and cutting them in the back of the head or spiking them, they're still gonna be kicking. But that's just all the nerves in their body. It's nice out. Outgoing tide, air is pretty cool, sun's out, clear blue skies, and a fish just like that. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> There we go. So much fun. I encourage you guys to get out of here. Try it. Don't knock the fish until you try it. <sighs> Got about, I think six now, six or seven. The one was a quick release, gone forever. It's all good, all good. You guys already know the slogan or the motto, big or small, catch them all. A lot of people knock mackerel, man. They're not trash fish. You talk to people overseas, talk about Saba, eating mackerel, sushi bars, raw, etc. It's actually a delicacy to some countries. Just like how on the East Coast people think uh, the bonito or bonita over there is trash fish until they tried it. I think Black Tip H tried bonita for the first time last year and it wasn't bad at all. It's poor man's tuna. Same thing over here. Bonita over here, you can use them as lobster bait or you can smoke it and make jerky out of the bonita here. None of this fish is as bad as people make it seem. Unless it's like a lizard fish, I wouldn't eat a lizard fish. I mean, there's not enough meat on that. I mean, halibut and leopard shark likes them. In our bays here, the only fish I would actually keep and eat is mackerel and halibut. Out there, open water, uh, I eat whatever we catch out that way. Mostly like rockfish, whitefish, calicos, sometimes sand bass. Of course, giant halibut out that way, yellowtail. All kinds of fish out that way. Kind of like the bite died down, but it's all good. It's all good. Got my fair share of mackerel. You know what? Can't be too greedy. You know, some people leave with like a full five gallon bucket. I'm not those kind of people. Used to be. Unless we're fishing from a pier and we're like harvesting, harvesting them for the family. Yeah, I'll bring a freaking sabiki in a five gallon bucket and fill that sucker up. Use some for bait too. But if I'm out here, I'm, I'll be happy with like 10, 15 at most. Right at the drop. It's free spooling and my line just went ballistic. These greenbacks are just, man. What, you know, put on my lighter gear, but sometimes with light gear, you can't get that distance. And it looks like these fish are just 
way out there casting to the end of my spool just to get a bite but hey gotta adapt somehow right yo yeah two for one hell yeah hell yeah it has been a while since I got two fish on one lure this guy is really small really small it's just unfortunate he swallowed that freaking treble I don't think he's gonna make it this will be the smallest one today I'll try to try to get the hook out as best as I can so I can release this little guy I mean oh there it is look at bite size let's let him go smallest one of the day guess I'll live to see another day thing about San Diego fishing here there's so many places to fish I mean if you got access to the base you can fish over there I believe there's the Coronado Pier over there but you have to be military or prior or something like that then you got obviously this whole strip right here Harbor Island and then you got downtown which has the Midway and Barcadero Seaport Village G Street Pier and you know you get the whole shoreline to fish some you can't access because you know military and private property then you got back of the bay which is like j street pepper park and then coronado side you got glorietta bay the uh, tidelands the coronado caves and then you go on the west side of it you get freaking the silver strand surf where you can catch surf perch and giant halibut don't ask me i'm not going and right there i just get a fish <laughs> as i'm trying to explain to you guys if you guys never fished around san diego there's just so much in san diego bay that you can access and fish you know i just i just love fishing harbor island it's my heart it's my home and i enjoy it every time i come out here i mean harbor island is not the best spot in the world to fish but it's just something about this area i love it oh there's another one So if you guys are coming out here for macro you guys already know me i love getting them on top water but unfortunately the top water bite for macro isn't really hot right now i probably missed the top water bite by about 30 minutes to an hour uh, because when i got here there was there was already an angler fishing when i pulled up he told me the top water bite was good about 30 minutes to an hour before i got here so i figured you know what i'm not even gonna waste my time so I figured, you know, tying an iron, small one, get it out there. Got a couple bites, but I noticed that they're hitting further out. So what I'm trying to say is that, yeah, the smaller baits do get bit, but the downfall with the smaller bait is distance. I just got smacked. It's distance. Oh, there it is. Oh man. little guy what is it oh it's a mackerel <laughs> yes if you guys are wondering I am killing them as I'm putting them in the cooler I know uh, I made that mistake by not doing so before I apologize to you guys out there that are seeing me throwing them in buckets and stuff back then while they're still flopping all crazy my apologies I promise I'll make that change. So, as I was saying, distance is what matters right now because they seem to be hitting maybe about 50, 60 yards out compared to what I was casting with my BFS 10 gram. I was getting about 30, 40 yards out, getting subtle bites. Not as much as I'm getting with a heavier bait, the longer cast. Sometimes you just gotta adapt, you gotta figure it out. Yeah, you might get used to throwing 15 gram, 10 gram, seven gram. But sometimes you just got to bump it up a notch to like a 20 gram, 28 gram, 30 gram. Just bomb it way out there because the fish is here. But you just can't get to them unless you, you know, tie in a bigger or heavier bait and just launch it out there. You guys catch my drift? 
you know, I'm, I'm kind of rambling right now, but hey, I'm trying here, guys. I'm trying. Looks like the macro's gone, guys. Caught my fair share. Should be good to go. I think I'm gonna switch it up to drop shot, one ounce. Bomb it out there. Fingers crossed. Get a bass. Halibut. Something. We will see. That was a weird bite. That's a bite. There it is. That was a weird one. Just made a little move. Walked about 40 yards. And I get a bite. And it's a Mac. I'm gonna bring my cooler with me, buddy. Lucky day. There it is. Damn. I switched over to a drop shot to catch something else. Whatever. <laughs> I think this is another Mac. <sighs> Am I gonna have to go get the cooler? <laughs> Oh no, it's our best friend, the lizard fish. Dude, what the hell? Look at the way he's hooked under the gill. I don't think he's gonna make it, but yeah, he's pooping everywhere. Yeah, I really don't think he's gonna make it. That hook was deep in him. Under the gill, to the bottom of the jaw, into the head, he did. Well, that's two species. Lost count of how many I caught today. I think I caught about like 18, 16 fish. Two species, lizard and mac. And no, I am not gonna put a lizard fish on a hook and cast it out. I really don't feel like waiting for a bite. I'd rather go look for the fish myself and use the bait I have. Maybe some other day. Just dragging it at the bottom, giving it a couple twitches here and there. There it is. Whoa. Oh, this ain't no Mac. Maybe it is. It surfaced. Oh no, it's not a mat. Yeah. Yeah, finally. A bass. Woo. Yeah. I think this is my first San Diego Bay bass of the year. There it is. On the drop shot. Dude, we're looking for you. <laughs> we're wondering when you're going to show up. There you go. First bass of the morning. I think it's my first bass in San Diego Bay. Not a bad one, not a great one. But hey, look at that, he's all flared up. Pretty young thing. All right, man, peace out. All right, all right. All right, ran to one of my subscribers, Jared. Uh, we chopped it up for a bit and you know, I was already ready to make a move. I got about an hour left, maybe half an hour left to fish. We decided to head over to, I think we're gonna hit Spanish Landing or Liberty Station. Not sure yet. I don't know. Probably Spanish. It was a success out here. I mean, I caught fish. I caught well over 15 fish. Uh, three species, a lizard fish, macro and a bass you know i'm happy that i got a bass finally out here in san Diego bay took that drop shot hit it like a train oh yeah but so far it's pretty good i mean get out here if you guys can you know the weather is warming up spring is around the corner 
time change is happening. We're gonna be losing an hour of sleep this spring, but gain an hour of daylight for morning bites. Means better content for you guys, better quality for you guys to enjoy at home, on the toilet, wherever the hell you're watching from. We're gonna head over to Spanish, get all set up, and try to catch some fish. Stand by and enjoy the show. Let's go. Spot number two, it's gonna be the last spot for this morning. We've got about an hour to fish, if anything, and we'll see. If you guys don't see behind me, that's Jared. Say hi, Jared. <laughs> yeah, he's one of my subs. Hit me up last night, but I wasn't sure where he was at Harbor Island, but sure enough, he was literally fishing to my left about like 50 yards. He caught a couple, I caught a couple, everyone caught a couple. We had a good time there. But time is ticking. The fish is not gonna be waiting for me or us. So I'm gonna get off of this thing. Slap you guys back on my chest. Probably rig up a wheelless drop shot or something and get my ass out there and hopefully catch something. Anything really, big or small, I'm gonna try to catch them all. So you guys stay tuned and wish me luck. Let's go. There it is. It. On a jerk bait. Yeah, boy. <laughs> I knew it. Knew I had to throw the jerk bait. <laughs> I don't want to get a hook in my face or my hand like this guy. Yeah. On a lucky craft, flash minnow. This one's angry. I would be too if I had like freaking three troubles in my face. Let's check him out one more time. Little guy hit the bait way bigger than himself. Well, half his size or a little bit bigger than half his size on a lucky craft flash minnow. man harbor island actually produced today success i caught about 15 16 mackerel and kept uh, i believe 11 and i released four yeah it was a good day they all bit on the iron you guys already know the iron is always key when mackerel's around even bonito smell and lizard fish so last night i checked the tides the tides looked good it looked promising and it looked way better than it did two days ago we actually had a decent swing so I decided to, you know, post it and see if anybody wanted to join me. Uh, one of my subscribers, Jared, messaged me and asked if I was coming out, uh, but I wasn't sure where I was going. I was going to hit a Mission Bay, but I don't know. My gut feeling told me, you know what, like, go to Harbor, go to San Diego Bay. Yeah, give it, give it a shot. Redeem yourself. So I ended up in Harbor Island, as always, you know, my uh, stomping grounds where I love to fish and you guys hate seeing. But yeah, I mean, there's nothing left to really tell you guys, but... Get out here, get your lines wet, enjoy what we have here in San Diego or wherever you are, Long Beach, LA, Monterey, Bay Area, Hawaii, New York, wherever you are, get out, enjoy it. You know, cause this is, this is wonderful right now. This time of year, springtime, uh, wherever you are, if it's nice, just get out, have fun, get your lines wet, bring your family, your friends, whoever, catch some fish, don't catch any, big or small, nothing at all, or catch them all, whatever. Just get out. Have fun. 
live a little enough of that man i'm gonna close it up right there guys everything i use in this video will be in the description below be sure to check that out Roz, reels lines lures everything if you have not subscribed to this channel consider subscribing if you did subscribe hit the bell notification button right there it will notify you for new uploads future uploads all that good stuff if you are not following me on instagram and don't have an instagram or have an instagram and not following me consider following me because i'll be posting you know 2a stuff over there my catches, stories, this and that. And if you're not in the Facebook community, I'll link that below, the BG Fishing community. I'll be announcing my outings, meetups, all that stuff down there. Check that out. I already have uh, about 60 members in there. I'm not really expecting that community to grow super fast, but it's something I want to put together to give back to you guys. And I want you guys to share your catches, your you know your eventful days here on the water with me in the community on facebook so check for that link in the description below and if you enjoy these type of videos drop a thumbs up it will help me out a lot if you did not enjoy it i apologize but thank you for watching anyways ah, that's it guys i'm done as always good fishing and peace the hell out